Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to run macro in Excel using shapes and keyboard shortcut key. In today's video tutorial, I will teach you how to use time function in Excel. After studying various topics on this course, you need to be aware of tools Excel has to advance to the next level. Knowing Excel tools will make one step closer to the next level. Once you know what are the tools Excel has, you must know the uses of those tools as well. This has brought me to take this topic to add more value to the one you have learned in my previous video tutorial. So, in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you important Excel tools like advanced filter, conditional formatting, what if analysis, data table, and regression analysis, and many more useful tools. Okay, now let's delve into task function in Excel. Task function in Excel is a mathematical trigonometric function used to calculate the hyperbolic tangent of any number. We can use the tan function directly just by selecting any number that we want to convert into a hyperbolic tangent figure. Irrespective of the number we use, we can select any possible positive, negative, or integer and decimal number. Here, tan we calculate the hyperbolic tangent value of all of it. Hyperbolic function has sine, cosine, tan, cot, sec, and cosec. All are related to each other. Other ones or the other way around. In this video, how we only talk about the tan function. Let us concentrate on this only as of now. Okay. In a scientific calculator, also we can easily find the tangent of a given number. Now, let's talk about how to use the tan function in a cell itself. Now, the tan in a cell is very simple and easy to use. Let us understand the working of each function by some example. Okay. Before we head into this example, let's understand some some of the basic formula in Excel, okay? And those are pi and radian. We also have pi. We all must have studied pi in our various schools or colleges. The value of pi is 3.142 or 22 over 7. In Excel, there is an inbuilt function called pi which return exactly the same value okay now let's talk about the radian it is the hair size unit of a measuring any angle of the cycle one radian is any form created from the center of the circle by an arc where the length is equal to the radius of the circle okay and uh, one radian, one radian is equal to 57.295795 degrees. Okay, look at the table on the screen here. You have the degrees in column, okay, in column A here, and we need to get the tangent right here. You can also get the tangent by going to the formula at the top of the bar here then navigate to the word mass and trick okay so when you get there then you can now search for tan okay, let me do that you can see tan is here you can see right here okay so now however let's apply formula to get the tangent of an angle okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type equal to tan okay then close bracket so we want to get the tan of the 50 degree okay 
which is in cell A2, which is the A2, then close bracket, then enter my press my enter button key. Okay. However, the output will be one. We can drag these by pressing Ctrl D or double click on the on the right corner of the say right here. Okay, just double click it will auto fill all the other cells. Okay, if you look at the result, it is not correct. It's not correct value. It is showing. Uh, it's not correct value. It is showing. Okay, if I supply the number, no, uh, if the if the supply number is in degree, we need to multiply pi by 180 that convert the radius, I mean the result into radian. However, I'm going to add pi pi over 180 to the formula to make it work. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So make it tan, then a to multiply by then half pi to the formula. Okay. Then close bracket. There, then, then I will now divide it by the word 180. Then, then, sorry. So I have to close. So close the bracket there. That's why it's giving me okay, good. You can see. So the exact result has come out. So we can then drag it by press by using Ctrl D or double click on the word on the right corner here to autofill the the cell. So the result will be 0 0.02272543 for the 50 degree turn on 50 degree okay that is it so i'm going to do that okay so however instead of using pi divided by 180 you can use the radian likewise okay inside the inside and uh, instead of uh, instead of using the turn and here you can see get the same result okay so i'm going to do that in the next table here so i'm going to type equal to tan okay then open the bracket then put in the radian so you can double click just double click here to input it then a2 then then close the bracket then close the bracket and hit the enter button now we can drag it by pressing Ctrl D or double click on the right corner of the cell, okay. So let me we can see, okay. You, wow, we got the same result as the previous one. Therefore, pi is equal to the value of what radian in a cell, okay. Now let me tell you something that you need to remember when you are working with tan and pi, okay. Firstly, you need to understand the basic of the hyperbola and other trigonometric trigonometric concepts without, under, without understanding those functions. It is very difficult to understand any trigonometric function in Excel. So, you should be strong in this concept. Okay? Another thing is that try to solve the problem manually just like I did and then learn this function in Excel. Okay? Along this concept of of radius, radian, pi, it is. These are, they are very important in trigonometry. Okay, if the supply number in is not numeric, then we will get the error type of hash value. Okay, another thing is that if you want to convert the radian into degree, then we can use the Excel built-in function core degree. Okay, and another important here. Is us is that and it, um, we can actually in intended to get the result as a target if you really want it. So thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I keep giving you more of the Z function. Bye.